Welcome to Dragonfly Trading. My name is Carrie, and I'm a full-time trader in the crypto and forex markets. Today's video is going to be a quick update on Bitcoin, just what I am seeing right here, right now. If you're interested in the bigger picture, take a watch at one of my prior videos because I go into deep detail about what counts we have left available to us. Remember, this is not financial advice. This is just the way that I see the market. The links are in the description below for Instagram. Follow me. If you're interested in learning my system, the link is in the description below for the Discord. And let's get started. All right. We're on the daily. We need to hold this bullish support between 40 and 50. The If we want to have any chance of transitioning higher, okay, the first signal is pushing up over 70. The next signal is holding bullish support. Then pushing back up over 70, and then we have a chance to trend up here in the bullish zone. Okay, But if we come through it, then what it leads to is a potential potential rejection in the 60 to 70 zone and then we're trending in the bearish zone and we don't want that to happen okay all right so we can see we've got a lot of support under us that can potentially hold us we've got also two potential ideas here let me talk about the first one that I'm thinking about. Is that we could have an ending diagonal. One, two, three, trend line, four, five. You can see we've got support right there where that trend line would come in. That's why I have this trend line drawn. It would mean that after five, we're going to continue this leg because this would be an ABC connector. There is an alternative here, but I'm not that fond of it, but it doesn't mean that it isn't true. It would mean that we would have a leading diagonal and we would have to draw it like this. Okay, this could be pulled down a little bit. Here's the thing, though. I've never seen a two in a diagonal do this. Maybe I have, but it looks really weird. When I pull it down here, we've got a problem. Unless we come down a little bit, it could do this. So if we pull the trend line up, it's hitting here, and that's not proper. So we're going to need a potential bigger four to be able to pull this trend line down and hold support here. We don't want to come way down here. We want to hold support here at 42,000 for these two potential diagonals. One is bullish. This would mean that this is the start of something. If we can achieve this, it would mean that this is an A, a B, and we're getting a big C up for triangle. Or it's extremely bullish, and this is a wave one of the big fifth that we want. We would correct out of it, okay? But then it would be game on. If this comes true, okay? We still have two legs to make either way. Whether it's this one, or it's the leading, okay? All right, let's go down to a lower time frame. I'm gonna leave this trend line on. And we still have the options, okay, that this is just W, X, Y, or A, B, C, and it's over. That is still on the table.
and the Mega Bull count, which I'm not a big fan of, but hey, could be possible. We've got a one and a two. All this is going to be three, four, five. But we do not want this, okay, coming into these potential wave ones here, and we're getting awfully close. Because I don't, it didn't hit proper fib extensions for it to be over. We never got a fifth wave. Okay. So if this is going to be mega bull, it needs to turn around, not touch the top of these ones, and go. Okay. All right. Let's go down a little lower here so you can see what I'm seeing. I see a three-wave move right here. Here's the good news. We started off with three waves. When you start off with three waves, you know, unless we have a complete failure, which we'll talk about that, that we're coming down correctively. Okay? So we've got three waves, then three waves to the upside like this, let me turn these into lines. That's bugging me. Change the color on that. Okay. So we have this leg. We have this leg. So three, three. Now we need five or three. Okay. Now I pulled an extension on just this leg. Okay. Now let's pull an extension on the entire thing. The 1.236 is coming in right at the 2.236, okay, right at the trend line. So if we're going to hold, this would be the target, this overlap of FIB levels. It would end up being ABC or WXY, okay, it doesn't matter the labeling too much because it's a three-wave move. Now, how can it fail? Well, let's go up a little time frame here. How it can fail is that we make the three-wave move and then we don't take off bullish. We don't take off in a five-wave move because what starts with five ends with five and it would mean we would pull back and higher we go. What happens is we get three. Okay, and it doesn't even need to be that big. It could be a sideways flat. Okay, it could be a zigzag, but we get three. Then, because of that happening, then we have made a connector for this entire three. So then we would have three, three, and down we go, breaking trend line. Okay. If it gets up high enough, sorry, if it gets up high enough, then we could come down in five, but it's got to at least come to the 618 of this move. Okay. Okay. Had to pause it there. The dogs went to the store. All right, so... On the four-hour time frame, we've got this downward motion. As you can see, we have an upward motion. If we can keep from breaking the trend line, we will hold this. Now, we do not have reversal divergence between here, which I would have liked to have seen. But we do have hidden divergence. Okay, So we need to hold that and not break this trend line. Right, so that's about it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, let me know in the comments, and don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.